I thought this would be interesting because I know a lot of people are either in college a lot of times or they're going back to college or thinking about going back to college. And one thing that you will encounter a lot of in college is going to be writing papers. The next thing I'm going to recommend that you do, whether you have finished a paper or just finished a section and you're trying to make sure everything is good, is read it out loud to yourself. And the reason that you do this is because you're trying to see if things make sense. As you read something out loud to yourself, you can see if it makes sense. You can see if you've gone off on a tangent. You can see if it's just not making sense. You can see if the grammar makes sense. You can just see if you are going in the right direction. And you can't do this when you're reading to yourself. It's harder to do this when you're reading to yourself because you are just reading it and not paying attention sometimes to how it actually sounds when you speak it out to yourself or speak it out to someone to see if it actually makes sense. So I'm going to say, make sure that you are at some point reading it out loud, whether you're doing it through a checkpoint, whether you're doing it at the final end of the paper, just make sure that you know, once you've read it out loud, that it makes sense, that you're not on a tangent, that you're still on topic, that you have finished a paper and everything sounds really good. It will help to save you a lot of time if you get to a certain point in the paper and realize you are completely off topic and you are going more off topic. But if you stop now and went back, you can fix it instead of getting through the whole paper and then realizing oh, wow, I'm so far off topic from where I want it to be. Make sure they read out loud. And then when you get done with the paper, read it out loud again to see if all your sections make sense. Because you could have a section that doesn't make any sense at all. Like you just went completely off topic on a tangent and it doesn't connect with the rest of the paper. Once you have a paper, once you're in those sections, make sure you are reading it out loud. The next thing that you do is once you have read out loud to yourself, you're sure that you have things good and in order and you are excited and you have done it. You finished your paper. The next thing that you're gonna do is have someone else proofread it. Because you may think it sounds great, but if someone goes and proofreads it and goes through and reads it out loud themselves, they may say, this really doesn't make sense. I'm not sure where you're going with this. Where are you going with this? You probably need to change this to make it sound a little bit better or your grammar is really bad here. And I know sometimes when you have ADHD, you don't like criticism, but when you're writing papers, you need to have someone else proofread it to make sure that you have done all the things that the paper is good, that it makes sense, that it is it is staying on topic and just grammar, you know, just grammar, just so they can see, OK, hey, you, you've done everything. Your grammar is good in this paper. You can get a friend or family member to proofread it, but it's going to be better if you get a classmate to proofread it because of the fact that they are going to be doing something similar and they can understand, OK, and read this paper and it doesn't really make sense to me. And maybe sometimes you can exchange papers, right? You can say, hey, I'll proofread yours or proofread mine. You get together and do like a study group and you proofread each other's paper and then figure out, does it make sense? And they can tell you whether yours makes sense or where you might need to make changes. And you could do the same thing for them as well. And so you're helping each other. You are supporting each other at that point. And I think it's great. Now, the other thing is, is you can use on top of that a grammar checker program, which goes through and looks at your paper and tells you whether your grammar is right or not, or tells you different sections that you need to look at to see if this questionable grammar error is right or you need to correct it. And it will also tell you about misspellings and everything like that. You can use the ones included with, you know, the word programs that we would write and type something out and submit it to, to the teacher. But you're going to be better off if you use an actual grammar checker program that's dedicated to it or grammar checker website that is dedicated to it as well, because it is going to check your grammar, it is going to check your misspellings, but it's going to do a lot more related to grammar as well. Uh, I use Grammarly. I think it's really good. And I think it gives you a lot of options as well, because it will check your tone or check your grammar, check your misspellings. It will check questionable things as well. And you can set it up to say, hey, I want this to go to a specific audience. Is my tone right? Is my clarity right? What I'm writing right now, is it right with the things I have in the paper? And that program will check 
that out for you. When I come up or when I came up and was in college, I had no program like this and I would appreciate it if it was a program that I had access to. Okay, you're done. Isn't that amazing? You have written a paper. And so the last thing you're going to do is make your final changes. Make sure the paper is good. Make sure it makes sense. Make sure your grammar is correct. Proofread it one more time to make sure everything is good because this is going to be your paper that you turn in to your teacher for a grade. So you want to make sure everything is right and good and as perfect as you can get it. Don't get to the point where you're like, is it perfect yet? Go ahead. Once you think that it's good, that it is a good paper, go and submit it over and then see what happens. And hopefully you get a great grade. I think if you've done these different steps that you should have a good grade coming your way. As long as the paper is good, as long as you've done everything correctly and followed all the steps, I think it will help you to submit your papers on time and help you to have better papers overall. I can't guarantee that, but that's just my thought. That's just in my opinion. 